Let me first just follow up on something that uh, the pastor said. Um, you know, there's nothing like the power of prayer. I know in my Christian walk, early on did I realize it, and I've seen so many wonderful things happen in my life in the lives of other Christians through the power of prayer. Yes. And, you know, to get here just a little bit early on a Sunday morning, I don't think is asking too much. And if we as a congregation can do that and come together in prayer before the service, not only will we see things change in this church, but we're going to see things change in this community. Amen. This church has not been put here on Boston Street, right in the center of Guilford, for no reason at all. In all this land, there's something God wants to do here. Yes. And I believe that we have to indeed Press in. We have to keep pressing in. The end. Do you think the enemy wants this church to explode? No. Wants us to build on all of this land? That's the last thing he wants us to do. But nothing happens in the natural that first doesn't take place in that spiritual realm. Amen. You pray to God and it happens. He's just waiting, waiting to do it for us. So enough of that. It's just a little bit of an announcement. <laughs> Welcome everybody. Good to see you. It's always good to be here. It's always good to praise and worship with you and to enter in and, and indeed share the Word of God. Today we have Didan who's going to share. Always look forward to hearing from Don. He always has some wonderful words of wisdom. And today what I'd like to talk about is this fountain. As a Christian, this fountain that is within us. A fountain that's just waiting mm -hmm. to bubble forth. Mm -hmm. And what I'd like to say to you today is, let it flow. Let it flow. Do you know, it's a great story, and I'll read a passage from it. In Scripture, when Jesus was at Jacob's well, and he met the, the Samaritan woman, here this woman had come to get natural water. And you know what? She left with life-giving water. Yes. You know, Jesus met her at that well, and indeed, he changed her life. Indeed, her fountain began to flow, for sure. Amen. You know, love and joy and peace and patience and goodness and gentleness and meekness and temperance. These are all called the fruit of the Spirit. And you know, this is the traits of God. These are the traits that Jesus had working in him and through him when he was on this earth. That indeed, everybody that he touched, everybody who came in touch with Jesus, who really wanted to know truth, was changed because of the flow of these fruits. You know, when the Holy Spirit has come into us, once we accept Jesus Christ, we have now these same traits that God has. Jesus has. And you know, we have got to let them go forth as a fountain, bubbling out of us. You know, if you've ever noticed a, a fountain of water, when that thing is flowing and the water's coming forth, you can't put any trash or anything at the base of the mouth of that fountain. That fountain will reject it, just spew it away. That's the way we should be when anything that the enemy would try to put upon us comes near us. Yes. We need to indeed let those living waters flow out of us. You know, I've said it so many times when I'm up here. How does one do that? The only way you can do it, the only way I know how to do it, is you've got to allow the Word of God to seep deep into your heart. Yes. And that will allow waters when you need them to flow, maybe slowly at first, but eventually with more perseverance, and more pressure, and it'll go stronger and higher. But you know what? I can't do it for you. No, any, somebody sitting next to you can't do it for you. You have to choose that. 
You have to choose that way of life. You know, when that Samaritan woman took that living water from Jesus, if you read the rest of the story, she went into the town. And you know what? People were amazed at what she was saying. She became an evangelist. Mm -hmm. And she was able to take those people back out to the well to meet Jesus. And they were all touched by what Jesus had given her. So just listen now. You have a fountain that's within you. A fountain that's just waiting to bow forth. And you know what? Just like that Samaritan woman was changed by Jesus, You'll be changed in the people you come in contact with. We'll be changed Amen. as well. Amen. 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 Amen.